The Hong Kong International Airport's three-runway system began operations today. The system can ratchet up the airport's landing and takeoff capacity by up to 50 percent. Authorities hope the city's aviation industry can explore more new flight destinations while expanding the airport services to the Greater Bay Area. The newly unveiled Central Runway, formerly the Northern Runway, taking planes to the skies once again. The maiden passenger plane taking off from the runway at around 4 p.m. was this Cathay Pacific Airbus A350 plane, flight CX-8333, carrying mostly students. Along the Southern Runway, another flight took off heading for Tokyo. Landing at the same time via the northern runway was flight HB861, belonging to Greater Bay Airlines, which returned to Hong Kong from Zhejiang in eastern China. These takeoffs and landings marking the historic launch of the city's three-runway system, which comes with a price tag of $140 billion and has taken more than eight years to build. The control tower then arranges for the departing flights, which took off at the same time from the central and southern runways. Hong Kong Express's U0114 to Taipei was the first commercial flight to use the central runway. Speaking at the opening ceremony, Chief Executive Johnny urged Hong Kong's aviation industry to recover flight capacities in full steam, leverage the edge from the Greater Bay Area, and expand global connectivity. Lee said the government will seize the opportunity to expand Hong Kong's aviation networks, and airlines should also enhance services to open up more new destinations, especially those along the Belt and Road countries. Chairman of the Airport Authority Fred Lam said they encountered many challenges over the past eight years, including the pandemic, manpower crunch and reclamation issues, but they've overcome them all. Another new facility from the system is Concourse T2, located in a newly reclaimed zone. It will provide 63 parking bays for aircraft. The Airport Authority said they will be opened in phases. The AA added that in the first six months, the number of flights per hour will be increased from 70 to 75, then gradually raised to a maximum of 102. It should be able to handle up to 120 million passengers and 10 million tons of cargo each year. China's Ministry of Transport believes it can inject new impetus into accelerating the development of the Greater Bay Area.